How much money do you make per video? Very, very, very exciting news. You could make 10,000 pounds from that. All I'm gonna say on that is that there was a miscommunication. Have you ever had an argument with a brand? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is starting in a bit of a different situation. Well, the whole video is gonna be a bit different. I'm about to go to the McDonald's drive-thru, get myself some food because one, I'm hungry. Two, I weirdly love watching videos of people eat. And three, I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. Um, questions that I haven't necessarily answered before because, well, I mean, I guess every time I do a Q&A, I'm hoping that you ask me stuff I haven't answered before. But yeah, some questions that I wanted to address, um, some updates in my life, kind of more juicy questions that I've never answered before. Um, um, so I'm gonna go and get some food and answer some of your questions. I thought it'd be a pretty good video to do I've seen a lot of people do like kind of drive with me mukbang questionnaire questionnaire Q&A question and answer videos in 2020 and I wanted to do one too So I hope you enjoy if this isn't your kind of video That's totally fine But it's my kind of video and I want to film the videos that I enjoy filming and enjoy watching and obviously I'm gonna enjoy it because I'm about to go get McDonald's so I'll see you there Also, I'm not gonna be able to film while I'm actually driving I'm gonna get my food and then I will film just because my camera screen is broken And it will be rattling around the whole time that I'm driving and nobody really wants to hear that so See you when I've got my food. Oh, the drive-thru is so empty. Oh, two little pudders. Hi, um, are you still doing the cheese dipper things? Yep. Um, please can I have some of those? Yep. Then also, please can I have a medium chicken select meal? Three or five? Uh, three. And what we'll drink? Uh, with a Coke. Yep. And then can I also have a plain cheeseburger just with the meat and the cheese? Yeah, and anything else? Uh, and some ketchup as well, please. Yeah, that's it for you? Uh, yeah, that's it, thanks. Cheers, that's it, thank you. Thank you. Some people literally just had an argument, started beeping their horn, then told the McDonald's worker to f off and then just sped off, like literally honking their horn. Great! Oh, it's so wonky. I don't think that's gonna work. No, nope. right, I found somewhere that's quiet enough and also is not on a slope. I also did not consider the fact that it's raining, so I'm really sorry about that. This is gonna be really annoying, isn't it? I'm so sorry that you can hear the rain. Hopefully it's kind of cozy. I also did not think this through because it's nearly four o'clock and it's actually starting to get dark. Whoa, now it's so rainy and windy. Um, so there was a fight going on in my McDonald's. The people in front of me were not happy that their food was taking so long. I'm really annoyed that I, I meant to bring with me my metal straw, but I forgot. So I'm gonna have to use the paper straw that McDonald's provide. At least it's not plastic anymore. I got a Coke. Because everyone knows that Coke from McDonald's always tastes better. Got some of the cheese dippers. Oh my. Mm. Oh my god. I haven't had a McDonald's in ages. This is like my lunch and dinner at the same time. Wow, that rain is so annoying, isn't it? This is like my lunch and dinner combined. The cheese melt dippers are my favourite thing in the whole world. I know why the noise is so bad. Because I'm under a tree. Let me just move up a little bit so that I'm not next to a tree. Right, sorry, there we go. I'm no longer under a tree. Hi, so I'm just editing this. Uh, I'm really sorry that my hair looks like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. I had just popped out to run some errands before I got in my car and went to McDonald's and I got blown about in the storm by the wind and the rain. I also got a plain cheeseburger, some chips, which I completely forgot that I even had. It keeps focusing on my wheel instead of me. I also got some chicken selects. I don't know why I got so much food. Like I said, I asked for your questions on Instagram and I screenshotted the kind of most interesting responses. So I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna just eat the cheese off of my paper. Question one, jumping right in there. Have you ever had a one night stand? No, I haven't personally myself. Uh, don't have anything against it. I've just, you know, never done that myself because I've been in relationships since I was like 14. It's just not really my thing, but I mean, you do you. Next question says, so if I'm not mistaken, you wanted a boob job, have you done it or still thinking to do it? Wow, I love how you're asking, have you done it? As if it looks like my boobs have grown, they definitely have not. Um, no, I haven't done it. And to be honest, yes, I, I feel like this video is getting really deep really quick. Yes, I'm insecure about having small boobs, but I haven't done it just because there's too much research and too many links of implants and cancer. Um, last November, I think it was November 2018, the FDA actually recalled a bunch of different types of boob implants, breast implants, um, because they had too strong of a link to cancer and that just completely freaked me out. And then there is also fat transfer that you can get to your boobs, but also there's um, 
there's not like enough research into that because it's quite a new thing and there might potentially be issues of that causing like extra growth of breast cancer cells in your boobs so you know everything to me is just a bit too risky honestly i think if there was no links of any of it to cancer i probably would have done it by now but for now i mean i'm totally fine not having a boob job saves money it's a very risky operation i'm not i don't think i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna try and learn to love myself as i am no i'm on my last cheese dipper someone has said how is your anxiety lately um to be honest recently it hasn't been the best i mean 2019 was the best it's ever been all year hands down um and obviously like i'm a hundred times better than i used to be but in the past couple of weeks it's definitely peaked and like spiked back up again just because of everything that is going on in the world like it's kind of scared me a bit with like with like all of the news and everything um stuff to do with like trump and just everything like that and i think i started reading a bit too much into it and then really started to like spike my anxiety again and so i've tried to just stay away from it all on on social media um so yeah i mean recently it hasn't been the best but i mean on a grand scale of things still so 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 much better than it was like three or four years ago do you feel there were moments in the past you could have been nicer and regret it another person also said do you have any regrets that's one of the screenshots that i've got later on yes there was a time when i was 12 and i was mean to this girl in my year because i thought she was trying to steal my best friend ellie and honestly i'm not even kidding oh hello i have regretted it every single day since and still to this day 11 years later i still look back and i'm like i wish i had never done that and i feel so guilty about it and i have since seen this girl and we're all good but i just i still feel really bad about it <laughs> i said some dumb stuff when i was like 12 13 and i do regret it but also you learn and grow from your mistakes so is it just me that loves the sound of ice in a drink kind of like asmr well this is an interesting one do you feel there's a huge difference between your camera personality and your in real life personality i would say yes okay i wouldn't say huge difference but there's definitely a difference i am so much more confident when i'm on camera because i'm just talking to a camera um and also i can edit myself on camera whereas i can't edit myself in real life and something that is interesting is i went to get some new glasses the other day and the girl that worked in there was actually one of my subscribers she was really really lovely but she said to me um you're really different in person she was like i thought you were going to be a lot more confident and then she was like i'm not saying that you're not confident but i don't know just in your videos you seem a lot more confident and i was like well yeah i guess so in real life i would say i'm more of like a toned down and shy version of myself on youtube if that makes sense um but in terms of like the things i do interests you know everything like that how clumsy i am everything like that whoa all of that stuff is very legit and in my real life i'm still as clumsy and awkward as i am sometimes on camera but i would say that yeah i'm probably more confident on camera i need a chicken select mm, somebody said do you get to choose the ads that come up in your videos oh there was an also quick question later on wait let me try and find it yeah somebody said do youtubers pick when adverts are on their videos you don't get to choose what ads are in your videos so sometimes um you know you might get an ad for mcdonald's you might get an ad for wish youtube actually tailors the ad to the videos um but you can choose where the ads go for me personally because i'm really lazy i just have it on auto mode so youtube does it for me and it usually puts one at the beginning one at the end and then one somewhere in the middle it like auto generates where the ad goes in the middle some of my videos will just have one advert some have three some have two um but you can actually go into the editor on youtube and place the ad yourself so what a lot of people will do is place an ad right before like a particularly interesting part of the videos that you watch the ad and then watch on and then you go on some people's videos and they've got like 16 ads in a 10 minute video and obviously the more ads that you have in your video the more ads that people watch the more money you get from that video so that's how it works so that's why you see some people put about 500 ads in one video and i have no i have absolutely no problem with people trying to make their money but just from a viewer's perspective when you're watching a 10 minute video and it's got 10 ads in it and there's an ad every minute pretty much it does get a little bit annoying do you find out how much money you make from an affiliate link interested to know if you interested to know if you know we use it so yes if youtubers use an affiliate link we do know how much um you know we get from that so with reward style which is one of the companies that i use for affiliate links um you can go onto their website and it like breaks everything down for you so for example if i've left a link for a foundation um and i've used one of my affiliate links which i do quite a lot you usually get something like 
10p 20p per person that buys it so if 100 people buy it then you get 20 pounds wait is that right have i done my maths right but for bigger things obviously um like some brands do affiliate codes and stuff so for example i have a code with ofra which i think is just so if that gets you 20 percent off the website and then if somebody buys something you know that their whole basket adds up to a hundred dollars i think i get 10 percent commission from that or do i get the 20 percent? to be honest i don't even know with the ofra one i don't get like a breakdown they just randomly will send me money every couple of months when i've got some commission it's kind of different for every company they're definitely worth doing like at the start i didn't used to use any affiliate links but now that i do they are definitely worth doing like it adds a little bit of extra money each month so if you are an influencer or even if you aren't an influencer um i would definitely recommend looking into affiliate links because it all does add up and like every so often i'll just get like a nice little payment from reward style for like a few hundred pounds which is amazing for just you know linking a product another person has said how much money do you make per video you don't have to answer this one i'm just curious i know that a lot of people are very very curious about how much money youtubers make i think a lot of people aren't blind to the fact that youtube can definitely make you good money i think especially in america it's on another level like those youtubers are making millions of pounds um, i will tell you now i'm not making millions of pounds from youtube but it's definitely good money i started making enough money for it to be a full-time job when i think i had just over a hundred thousand subscribers so per video it's completely different because you can make money from ads you can make money from sponsors with the ads that's just the ads that i spoke about earlier that you like have at the start or the middle or the end of your video when somebody watches your ad you get a small percentage of that money because the brand has obviously paid YouTube to advertise. And because it's advertised on our video, we get a small amount of the money. So the more views that you get, the more money that you get generally, unless the video is like demonetized. Um, depending on CPM, it varies from video, from country, from person to person. Literally every day it changes and it depends where you get your views from, um, how many views you get. But roughly as an estimate, a lot of videos have a CPM of around one-ish, which means that you get one pound per thousand views. Wait, is that right? But in some cases, like in different months of the year, that can go up to like 10 pounds per thousand views. It really depends on the time of year, the place that you're in, the views that you're getting like from different countries. I don't know how to explain it. But for example, if you've got a video that's got a million views, you could make a thousand pounds from that. If CPMs are low, you could make 500 pounds from that. If you're demonetized, you can make zero pounds from that. And if you've got an amazing CPM, you could make 10,000 pounds from that, maybe even higher. I've personally never had a CPM that high, um, but I definitely know of people that have. This one is really juicy. A lot of people are asking me about a certain situation with a certain gift set that was released with a brand, um, with me. All I'm gonna say on that is that there was a miscommunication a misunderstanding everything is cool now and that's all i'm going to say about it please don't sue me okay a lot of people have been asking have you found a house yet also people are saying your new home are you going to live there yourself or are you going to live with james so very 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 exciting news i have found a house i've been wanting to buy my own house for the past kind of like year maybe two years i've never moved out of my parents house um and you might have been keeping up with my whole journey i have been house hunting for about the past like month and a half two months i have found a house i have put an offer in my offer has been accepted and yeah i'm just in the process of trying to get all of like my mortgage stuff finalized i've literally just been to the solicitors to drop off some papers and stuff and we're kind of in the swing of it happening i have no idea when i'm going to be moving yet it all depends on like a variety of different factors but yes i have found a house and it's just in the process of like going through with it so i'm gonna start moving vlogs soon and yeah i swear to god the number one question that i got asked in this q a is is james gonna be moving in with you yes he is gonna be moving in with me so we are gonna be living together soon which is really really exciting i cannot wait um it's such a huge like milestone in my life and i'm so excited so yeah i will keep you guys updated why have we not seen you with sophie louise in ages um she came to my skinny dip launch a while back things got really busy over christmas but i am actually seeing sophie louise and jazz in a couple of days time so we're all still good we're all still friends we still speak um and yeah literally no tea there just haven't seen her in ages and we finally got a date in the diary so i'm very excited about that someone has said how come you never include family members in your videos my brother has been in a couple videos before but like generally my parents aren't in my videos because they're a lot more private they don't really want to be on camera which i think is totally fine i also try to keep a lot of my family life a bit more private as well because i don't want to have everything 
on the internet um i know that a lot of people do but i'm just not that type of person like i'd rather keep some of my private life private loads of people are asking me like what really happened with your ex i did tell you at the time what really happened like i never hid anything from you yeah again there was literally like no drama there we literally just drifted apart and we're just in very different stages of our life and had very different interests and i think just a lot of the time that happens but there's no bad blood I wish them all the best. Someone has said, what are your parents like? I assume they're sensible because you seem sensible in a great way. I am definitely very sensible. Sometimes I think I'm a bit too sensible to the point where I worry about loads of little things that most people don't worry about. Yeah, my parents are very sensible and very nice. They're just so cute. I love my parents so much. They're just lovely. They're great. They're very sensible. They're very, very supportive. Someone said, how are you so thin when you don't like veg? When have I ever said I don't like veg? I may be fussy, but I do actually love my fruit and vegetables. Also, I wouldn't say I'm thin. I'm just very, like, short, petite. Have a very, like, thin frame. Like, my shoulders are very narrow. Um, it's just how I was born. My mum is exactly the same. We're actually the same height. She's also five foot two. I've been eating a lot of shit recently, though. But I do try and eat, like, badly in moderation. I say that and I'm sat here eating mcdonald's but you know i don't eat unhealthily every day i do try and have a balanced diet why did you stop working with revolution what's the tea in revolution why don't you go to the event um they haven't had many events recently i have been to some of their events i went to roxy's launch i went to jake jamie's launch i went to their halloween party and the reason that i stopped working with them is because i literally just couldn't fit it into my schedule anymore um because i used to make youtube videos for their channel and instagram posts and insta stories and insta lives and everything and i just got a bit too busy and wanted to like focus on my own thing again that was just a personal decision of mine but i still you know speak to the people from revolution i've still got my products with them um which are amazing and uh yeah that's it really someone also said i saw that you and tammy were both at the benefit event but why no pictures together i spoke to tammy quite a lot at the benefit event we just didn't take a picture because i don't take a picture with every single person that i speak to <laughs> i still absolutely love tammy and carmy and i really actually want to see them soon and have a catch up oh my god i'm getting so full someone has said have you had anything done to your face another person has said would you ever get botox or anything similar no I have not had anything done to my face. Um, I would get injectables. Oh my god, there's somebody literally walking right by me. Hello. I've definitely considered getting filler in my smile lines, um, but I haven't actually done that because I've tried, like, I'm trying at the moment micro needling it, and I'm seeing if that works first, but I would definitely be open to doing that in the future, and I wouldn't rule it out, so yeah how do you put in and take out your contact lenses with long nails i put them in with like the ball of my finger there luckily my fingers are quite round so i use this bit to pick it up when i take them out i go like this instead of this when on brand trips do you get to keep everything left in the hotel rooms um most of it yeah we're really really lucky um i think people have probably seen that i've been on a couple of trips with benefit recently and benefit always go all out which is ridiculous and yes like on the november trip with benefit and in the tokyo trip with benefit we got to keep everything that they left in our rooms obviously not everything not like the bed and like the bedding and everything like that but you know like the makeup products that they leave yes we get to keep them which is amazing i am so incredibly like grateful for all of that like i know that we are so lucky and it is ridiculous like it's actually ridiculous oh the street lamp just came on that's nice nice of them but it's now making my face very shadowed someone said have you saved all your money yourself for your house or are you being gifted any i've saved it all myself um i'm very proud to say that i'm not being gifted any money by my family obviously i've been doing youtube for nearly five years now after like the first year i was earning money from it so for the past four years i've pretty much just been saving all of my money to put into a deposit for a house have you ever had an argument with a brand yeah there was one situation not gonna say what the brand is i filmed a video for them which was supposed to go on my vlog channel that was what was agreed originally then it got to the day of uploading and it was like a weekly vlog got to the day of uploading and they were like hang on a minute this needs to go on your main channel and i was like but it's a vlog and i say in the video welcome back to my vlog channel basically there was a big like misunderstanding they had wanted it to go on my main channel but i had filmed a vlog for my vlog channel sent them the link to be approved which was on my vlog channel and they didn't notice until like half an hour before the video went live um and then we had loads of backwards and forwards and they were like well if you don't post it on your main channel we're gonna have to pull the whole job and it's like well i've already filmed it i've already spent my time like quite a lot of time into this video we worked it all out in the end though and we are totally fine now with that brand but but yeah i have had a couple arguments with brands i need to stop eating i'm so full i might have to end this here you know i've answered a lot someone said how come you've never done a collab video with another youtuber i've done quite a few collabs actually i haven't done many recently i've done at least five collabs how do you pay slash sort out taxes is it something everyone has to do or just self-employed so for most i'm guessing like you you aren't 
you know you don't have a job at the moment how it works for most people um is your employer sorts all of that out for you and so then it takes off your monthly pay so that when you get paid it's already taken the taxes off oh my god somebody's literally about to walk past, past my car that's so embarrassing yeah but when you're self-employed you have to sort oh my god you have to sort all your taxes out yourself which is a bit of a pain in the bum um i wish that youtube would just do it for us but they don't so you have to do like a yearly tax return which is long but you've got to do it because otherwise the tax man will come for you right last question before it gets really really dark can you tell us about weird habits that only people closest to you know about them okay so weird habits of mine i do this thing where i flap my hands when i get nervous and excited or just if I'm stressed or anything. And I've done it ever since I was a baby and I used to flap my hands like this. But now that I'm older, I try to hide it and I actually like do this. Sometimes I like flap my thumbs like this. No one knows that about me apart from my closest family and my friends. And it is a bit embarrassing, but I can't stop doing it. It's like I have to do it, otherwise I feel really weird. Another thing as well, which a lot of people and you guys do know about, I obsessively pick and chew the skin on my fingers, which is gross. That one is related to my anxiety. And again, I just can't stop doing Doing it otherwise I just I don't feel like satisfied until I've done it like I feel weird if I don't do it uh, same with my lips and my cheeks I chew the inside of my cheeks I chew my lips I know it's really gross and a really bad habit I don't know I sing a lot like I sing a lot around my house it's probably about it really I am gonna end that here right I need to head home now it's getting dark it's getting creepy it's getting windy I need to edit this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm not gonna do a question of the day just because I literally answered about 500 questions but I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos sub 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 subscribe pressing that button down below turn my notifications on um leave me a comment down below and i will see you in my next video goodbye